Greetings everyone and welcome back to G Senjo no Mao. Let's uh, continue. I left for school around noon. Eiji found me in the hallway. Hey, did you like the food last night? You sound like a douchebag. You're annoying, you know that? <laughs> What's with you? Are you lonely or something? Come to think of it, Ms. Noriko did just dump him. That's a profoundly disturbing hypothetical situation. Damn, now that's what I call a bad ending. Let's stop talking about this, you're giving me the creeps. <laughs> I haven't really started gunning for her yet, but yeah. Is that so? I see, so the lady still trusts you? You really think you could arrange something? I was an idiot for thinking that I could expect anything from you. Where on earth can you find a girl who would fall head over heels in love over such a stupid trick? Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I can't honestly deny it. For Tsubaki, it just might work. Usami lazily made an appearance. いや、ね。京介くんがやっぱり椿ちゃんと仲良くなりたいみたいでさ。マジっすか。めっちゃ邪悪じゃないっすか。それで協力してあげようって話してたの。さくを練ってたわけですね。邪悪な作。何かいい
どっちに転んでも OK ボクチャーを博多行きましてってやつじゃねえか I ignored AG and checked my cell phone instead. Kanon's not at school today. She has training. Things sure are quiet around here. School ended. Tsubaki and I melted into the swarm of students leaving school. Oharu-chan? I'm curious about this new nickname. かといって、いつまでもウサミさんって呼ぶのも嫌だったの。If so, isn't o h a r u c h a n a bit weird? そうかな。かわいくない ?It sounds like something from one of those chicken soup for the soul books. Say what? あは、私、毎朝それ録画してるよ。ははは。I continue to engage in the idle prattle of a schoolboy as we walked along. I think ウサミさん went to the faculty office. Tsubaki looked concerned. I think it was something about not having permission for her part time job. I'd imagine so. It's against the rules to work without the leave of the school. I guess I can't say for sure, but that's what the teacher said. Tsubaki came to a sudden halt. Huh? Why? What's she doing? Even so, what are you going to do about it? Oh, she is? So? Yeah, so? I repeat, so what? She shrank back a bit. Wait a second! Tsubaki ran down the hallway. I waited about half an hour in front of the office. This isn't anything but a waste of time. Her friend, huh? What does Tsubaki even know about Usami? It seemed Usami had been released unharmed. What happened? And then? I bet that came as a shock. Yeah, what was the Wow, nice work, Tsubaki. Yet Tsubaki just smiled as if she hadn't done anything. I just did what anyone would have done, was written on her face. She looked neither proud nor displeased. Is that how you show your gratitude? Usami quickly disappeared. Yeah, these things happen, I guess. Tsubaki's frantic actions actually helped Usami. There was no calculation or self interest involved. Yes, these things happen, and it's very disconcerting. I was immediately surrounded by the family upon entering Tsubaki's house. Thank you for having me over yet again. Haha, <laughs> isn't it already more than lively enough? The kids are all very open. They begged for my attention as they wrapped themselves around my legs. Yeah, 
弟たちの面倒ばかり見てて自分のことはいつも二の次なんだ。Yeah, I've noticed. どうか娘をよくしてやってください。He bowed slightly, emphasizing his trust with a kind smile. What kind of environment can produce such a kind hearted girl as Subaki? I had often pondered this question, but I felt I had gotten a glimpse of the answer. By the way, sir, no time to dilly dally, I'll cut straight to the matter at hand. I heard something about a dispute regarding your property. Subaki's father looked surprised. Ah, Oto san, Azai kun wa ne, so you no kuashi in datte. Nan de mo. アザイ君のお父さんが偉い社長さんらしくて、えー、お父さんは何の会社を He doubles in both finance and real estate おお立派な方だね I was thinking that maybe I could be of some help 君が Yes, I'm not officially an employee but I help with dad's work a lot A deep smile appeared on Sbaki's father's face He seems to be a little dubious 気持ちは嬉しいけど、うちの問題はうちで考えるよ。Sano Corporation is backing this development. He raised his eyebrows a bit upon hearing, hearing these words. I asked a broker familiar with the real estate around here, and it looks like the land in the eastern district is being eaten up at high prices. The house and land alone would fetch a considerable sum, I'd imagine. That is, if you were willing to sell, of course. Taking the apple orchard into consideration, the price would likely skyrocket. I wouldn't expect the deal to be so difficult to stomach. Tsubaki's father then flashed a grave expression. So, the reason you won't sell this land is because of personal attachment, correct? いくらお金を積まれたって出ていくわけにはいかないんだ。Won't that be difficult? Huge companies like Sano are promoting the developing tourism industry. うん。地上げ屋というのは面倒なもんだね。Calling them land sharks makes them sound just terrible. Technically, they're city development professionals. Nevertheless, because of the harassment and violence that took place during the bubble period, land sharks became the popular term for people whose jobs consist of driving others away from their land. To be honest, sir, I don't think they'll stop coming until you break. Their tenacity is something not of this world. He practically jumped in the air as he nodded. I should leave this matter for another time. I can convince him slowly. Tsubaki's mother brought food to the table. All seven members of the family quickly got excited. Even Tsubaki joined their noise making. Just promise me that you'll let me help, for Tsubaki's sake. Her father nodded in satisfaction. Thank you for dinner. Although her mom did most of the cooking, Tsubaki made one dish. Yeah, the miso soup was excellent. I rarely get to eat like this. That's not true. I don't spend a lot on food, but I often eat out for business reasons. One of Tsubaki's sisters suddenly latched onto her hand. I glanced around, but Hiroaki was nowhere to be found. Should I go look? Hiroaki? She yelled. No response. Masaka. Mataka. Again? What's he talking about? Again? Tsubaki followed her father's example and murmured something similar. This is certainly a tense situation. What's going on? I followed her out. The cold night air brushed against my skin. Tsubaki, what's this about? 
Tsubaki had an overcoat on and her breath misted into the air. Pranks? You mean he's done this before? What an energetic kid. He's such an over troublemaker that I'd say he's downright brave. He'll grow up to be a great man. I spoke in a joking manner. Where? She couldn't even begin to guess. I should help her out. Only for the sake of gaining her trust, of course. You said he's done this before, right? Your brother, Hiroaki-kun, right? Where did you find him before? Then let's try searching there first. Obviously, it's unnerving to have a five-year-old brother walking around outside at this time of night. Nighttime in the Eastern District was so quiet that it was creepy. Hiroaki! She yelled at the top of her lungs into the cold night sky. We're probably disrupting the neighborhood. Thankfully, the residences here aren't crowded together. I also yelled. Hey, your big sister Tsubaki is looking for you! Of course, if his goal is to scare us, he's probably hiding. I doubt he'll come out no matter how much we shout. Frightening his family into wanting them to care about him are two sides of the same coin. Maybe we should call Eichi? Yeah. I took out my cell phone. Don't worry about it. I called him. He didn't pick up right away. He seemed somewhat uh, jovial. Huh? It would be a pain to explain everything. Anyways, can you come over here? I'm still at the Eastern District's park. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Thanks, man. I hung up the phone. To the end, age he couldn't hold back his sinister laugh. He said he'll be here momentarily. You're really worried about your brother, aren't you? I could tell just by looking at her. The night turned colder. I see, he thought he'd get to play with his sister, so when I came home with you, he started sulking. Tsubaki bothered to thank me for my thoughts. Well, we know the kinds of places kids can hide. Let's keep looking. We split up to search the area. It's been half an hour since we left the house. We haven't found anything after searching the entire park. Let's go back. I suggested this and to gauge Tsubaki's reaction. Maybe Hiroaki already went home. In fact, if we just waited, don't you think he'd come back for sure? Well, a five-year-old kid isn't going to stay out all night. Dangerous situation? Surely not. You mean like getting kid... I didn't finish saying the word kidnapped. It would be inappropriate even as a joke. It is night time. He might catch a cold. Because it's too so dark, I can't see clearly, but I can tell that Tsubaki's coat is smeared in dirt from the park. By the lake, the sand lot of the plants. She looked everywhere desperately, meticulously. Let's go back. I feel I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, that's it. Huh? Uh, I mean, Eiji, yeah, I guess he should be here any minute now. At that moment, a person appeared at the park entrance. Even though he's pretty short, he's still way too tall to be Hiroaki. Oh, you're finally here. Eiji glanced at me. Tsubaki's younger brother has gone missing. Uh, 
わざわざ来てもらっちゃってああふざけんなよな話聞いてねえっつうの Sorry, I told her you would help us look for him. Hey, it was your misunderstanding. You jumped the gun. The three of us headed back toward the house. On the way back, we looked through fields by the roadside and behind telephone poles. Still, we never found Hiroaki. This isn't good. For reasons I don't understand, only I can hear the voice of Eiji's heart. You okay, Eiji? Huh? Didn't you just show up? Tsubaki and I have been out here for a while now. Even though I never asked him to do much, Eiji is getting pretty angry. At that moment, Tsubaki let out a small yell. Hiroki? He suddenly appeared from behind the fence. <laughs> that is the smile of a prankster. Hiroki. The tension visibly eased off of Tsubaki. <laughs> he showed no sign of thinking what he did was wrong. So? <laughs> Even for a child, that was a bit too much. Forget about me for a moment. Tsubaki was seriously worried the whole time. Ah, Tsubaki fell to her knees in front of her brother as he stretched. They looked at each other. Hiroaki? I thought that she was going to scold him. No, I anticipated it. To personally witness a different side of the ever smiling Tsubaki. With just those words, she wrapped both her arms around her brother. I peeked at the side of Tsubaki's face. There was nothing but the expression of a sister happy to see her brother safe and sound. She smiled happily again as if to reassure her brother. Tsubaki stood up and pulled her brother's hand. Hey, Tsubaki, I can't condone this. This will just make Hiroaki do it again. Just as I was about to say this, Hiroaki spoke. What exactly brought this one? It looked as if there was an aura of strength emanating from the siblings' joint palms. No problem. I was uncomfortable. I just stood in the doorway like an idiot. After being shown the family's harmony, I could only stand there purposeless. Eiji was the one who broke the silence. Looks like he finally took off the good little boy mask he wears at school. I'll be going home. I turned around. No, I have an errand I need to run. No, I mean it. I'm alright. It's nothing. See you tomorrow. I started walking away. I didn't feel the cold winter wind. This must be what they call an overheated mind. I started thinking seriously about how to push this family into selling. <laughs>